Hello viewers, today our topic is urbanization. At first we want to learn about the urbanization. So what is urbanization? That urbanization is the increase in the proportion of people living in towns and cities as compared to those living in villages. So this is a way or process in which the number of towns and cities are increasing. It is the continuous process of formation of towns and cities and their growth in size and it is a one kind of continuous process because these are increasing. Percentage of the people living in urban areas is increasing across the globe and day by day the urban areas share is increased, increasing. In regions such as Bermuda, Monaco, Cayman Islands, 100% of the population lives in urban centers. So these places totally come into urbanization process or in towns. While many African countries still have an urban population of less than 15%. And besides from these places, in Africa, there have some countries those are stay only as a 15% urban population. What are the causes of urban urbanization? Urbanization occurs as a result of people moving out from rural areas to urban areas. A variety of factors facilitated the process of urbanization. So urbanization occurs as a result of people moving out from rural areas to urban areas. That some people they shifted from their rural areas to urban areas. A variety of factors facilitated the process of urbanization and there have various kind of factors. The industrial revolution that started in the late 18th century in England and later spread in Europe and North America gave rise to many industries. So the industrial revolution that started in the late 18th century in England and later spread to Europe and North America gave to rise many industries. And after this industrialization, industrial revolution, various industries are set up in various places. An increasing number of factories in the cities created a demand for labor and people migrated from the villages to get job in these industries. And after this industrialization or industrial setup that people they come into the city region for their job in their in, in various factories. Next cause is expansion of industries in Europe and North America led to rapid urbanization in the 19th and early 20th centuries. And the expansion of industries also help for the improvement of urbanization. Modernization of the urban areas made city life more attractive to the rural people and they migrated in large numbers to these areas. So modernization of urban areas made city life more attractive and rural people also attracted by the this modernization and they also migrated in these urban areas. Since 1950, rapid urbanization has take pl taken place in Asia, Africa and South America because of rural to urban migration. And we can see that in the time of 1950s, one rapid urbanization has happened in Asia, Africa and South America because for the rural to urban migration. A number of push factors like poverty, lack of employment opportunities, low standard of living, lack of social amenities in the rural areas are responsible for modernization. The important full factors that have attracted people from the villages to town and cities are better employment. Already we discussed in, our, in my previous class that what is push factors and what are full factors. So that pool factors means that various kind of facilities, those are attract the peoples. That employment opportunities, higher standard of living, better healthcare, education and recreational facilities, diverse culture and more market competition, these are attracted the peoples and they come into the cities. Urban areas have also grown in size because of natural increase in population and caused by high birth rate and comparatively low death rate. And the another cause of spreading urbanization that in the urban areas the birth rate is very high but there have very low death rate. Trade and commerce play an important role in the urbanization of an area and they led to expansion of the cities. So another cause is trade and commerce that for the trade and commerce activity for uh, the trade and commerce activity various kind of peoples they come into the cities and they settled there permanently. 
Better transportation and communication facilities also led to migration of people from the rural to urban areas. And transportation and communication facility is more better than uh, the villages in urban areas. That's what the, uh, the some people for taking the facility of this transport and communication, they also settle in the urban areas and they expand the um, number of people in urban areas. Some of the urban agglomeration which have experienced remarkable growth in the recent times are New York, Chicago, Mexico City, Sao Paulo, Cairo, these are the places where urban agglomeration is happened. Urban agglomeration means that when uh, more than one urban areas are compact in a place then they are called as urban agglomeration. So what are the impact of urbanization? Urbanization has both positive and adverse impact on the socio-economic condition of the country. So there have two types of impact. It may be positive or there have also some adverse impact. So positive impacts are that cities offer a large number of services and job opportunities which are not found in rural areas. Why rural peoples they shifted from their villages to the urban areas? That for getting the jobs and in cities there have various kind of services and job opportunities. So these are very helpful for the rural area peoples. Education, healthcare and entertainment opportunities are more readily available in cities than the villages. These are the positive impacts and cities have better infrastructure and higher standard of living than villages and the village people they can stay as a better infrastructural condition and high standard of living. So people from various regions migrate to cities leading to exchange the, of ideas and deliver diversity of culture and in the, with this migration various kind of diversity is happened with the culture and various kind of ideas are also shared in between some peoples and social and religious taboos disappear with increasing urbanization and the social and religious barriers also destroyed with this urbanization process next is adverse impact or it may be negative impact that urbanization result in increase in pollution levels particularly air and water pollution and with this urbanization process or industrial development, what happened that the pollution level also increased, basically air pollution and water pollution. Overpopulation in the cities result in unemployment and underemployment. And for the overpopulation in urban areas, unemployment scenario also happened. And overcrowding in cities lead to unhygienic condition and given raise to public health and sanitation issues. So overcrowding in cities also create unhygienic condition in the cities and therein there is several shortage of housing in the large cities causing the growth of slums and when the situation is arise that there have not any vacant place for the for making the houses then the slums are also developed large cities experience a number of social problems like poverty violence and increased crime rates and urbanization can also lead to disintegration of joint family system due to high cost of living. Original inhabitants of an area often get displaced due to excessive migration. And original inhabitants also displaced with this huge amount of migration. Next topic is satellite cities. Satellite cities are small or medium sized metropolitan areas that are located near large cities but are mostly independent. So satellite cities are small and medium sized metropolitan areas that are located ne near large cities. So basically satellite cities are situated beside the large cities but they are also mostly independent. They are not related or the regulated with the large cities. They are independent. The main aim of developing these cities is extension of these large cities. Why this kind of satellite cities improved or developed for the extension of the large cities. And they maintain a balance between the population and resources of an area. Next is characteristics of satellite cities. Satellite cities have been in existence as cities before inter interconnecting with the large metropolitan cities. So, satellite cities have been, uh, uh, have been in existence as cities before interconnecting with the larger metropolitan cities. And they are separated from the larger cities by vast rural territory. And they are also separated from the larger cities by vast rural territory. 
or by measured geographic barrier like a river. This they may be separated with various kind of natural barrier. They are economically and socially independent from the metropolitan city. Already I discussed that they are economically and socially independent. And satellite cities have a central business district surrounded by residential area. And in satellite cities, they are have a uh, central point which is known as central business district. And the surrounding areas are placed as a residential area. They have their own independent metro municipal government, and they have also own municipal government. And there is a lot of cross communication between the satellite cities and the large metropolis. Some examples are that Brentwood and Crawley, a satellite of London, they are situated beside the London city, like this. And the next is smart cities. A smart city is a city that uses ICT, that means information and communication technology, to improve the efficiency of its services and meet the needs of the citizens. So smart city means they always try to improve the living standard and that's what they always do their work with ICT, that means information and communication technology and they give us various kind of services. The services include transport and traffic management, education, healthcare, water supply, power supply, waste management, law, law enforcement and other community services are delivered by these smart cities. They try to give these kinds of facilities. And the aim of building a smart city is to improve the quality of life, or to optimize the use of resources, to improve contact between the city officials and the citizens and to be better prepared to face challenges. So they try to improve the quality of life. Some these kinds of smart cities name Barcelona, Vienna, London, these are the smart cities.